My name is Hiro Watanabe uh, from Japanese newspaper Sankei Shinbun. Uh, my question would be uh, not directly related to uh, today's uh, landing, but I want to ask uh, Administrator Griffin about uh, Space Shuttle's uh, retirement. It will happen in uh, 2010, and uh, next generation uh, space uh, craft, Orion, uh, will appear maybe 2014 or 2015. And uh, this gap would be uh, crucial, crucial for uh, Japanese manned space activity. So I want to ask, is there any possibility uh, uh, to, postpone, to postpone the timing uh, uh, space shuttle's retirement? I mean, uh, uh, you will, could you, could you, do, do you have an option uh, to use space shuttle, uh, continue uh, using space shuttle uh, after 2010? No, I'm afraid not. Uh, we are retiring the shuttle in 2010. If we don't retire it in 2010, then we will not have the money to bring a new system online even by 2015. Uh, in the interim, we expect to uh, purchase crew transportation services uh, from our Russian partners, and we expect to meet our obligations to our international partners, including Japan, uh, by that means. Hajime Tobe with the Kyodo News, a Japanese uh, Newswire. Uh, my question is for uh, Dr. Griffin. Uh, now that uh, we get uh, the first segment of uh, keyboard attached, so we are uh, concerned about uh, the uh, ISS operation after 2015. So what are you going to do with uh, uh, the ISS operation after uh, 2015 and uh, uh, as, as the U.S. government and uh, uh, when and uh, how or uh, in what process uh, are you going to consider it or uh, what uh, do you think we should do with uh, the ISS uh, operation? Um, this is a, a question we get a lot. Um, I, I would remind everyone that the United States um, makes its budgetary decisions on a uh, with a five-year window, and so our current budget extends out only through 2013, and therefore does not contain any specific plans at this point for the International Space Station past. Uh, actually, at this point, past 2015. Now, you know, I've said on a number of occasions that. Uh, I will not be the administrator at that time. Today's president will not be president at that time. The next president will not be a president at that time that we would want to decide what to do with the space station. And there will be several U.S. Congresses which come and go between now and then. So the decision makers of that time, not this time, will be the ones to decide what to do with the station after the, the 2016 date. Uh, I, as a purely personal opinion, because I will not be in this job at that time, but as a purely personal opinion, um, I find it difficult to imagine that U.S. policymakers will want to stop operating a, a perfectly good space station. So if the space station is working in 2016 and beyond, my own expectation is that it will still be, still be in operation. Uh, but again, you're talking about events seven, eight, nine years in the future, and uh, I, I don't, I don't feel qualified to comment on what will happen at that time. Vic Ratner from ABC, probably from Mr. Gerstenmeier. The crew chose not to speak to microphones tonight, since you all saw them close up ask whichever one of you wants to venture an opinion, how steady or unsteady you thought they were on their feet, and after uh, 16 days in zero gravity, what were you expecting? Well, I, I can tell you they were great, and, and they were really excited about uh, what they have just done. Uh, I asked them what they thought of Space Station, and uh, it's pretty much the kind of conversations you've heard from them on orbit. They were excited about how big it is, 
how really a magnificent a research facility it, it is. Um, just the size, the scope of what they've done was exciting. I asked them if they were tired, and they were. They said they were not tired. It seemed like they were ready to go again. So I mean, I I can't imagine a crew coming back in better spirits than than the crew that we saw on the on the runway today. I mean, they are, were really happy. They were really relaxed. They had really gotten in the groove of operating on space station, and and they just did a phenomenal job. point something out. It actually was not the crew's decision not to speak. It was actually a, 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 a take responsibility for this. We had a lighting issue on the tarmac and weren't able to uh, to light them, so they, they weren't able to do their, uh, they didn't choose not to, they just weren't able to, to provide comments, so we'll have to wait till tomorrow morning, to, uh, tomorrow afternoon, actually, to, to hear from them, but uh, it was not their decision. It was a mistake on public affairs part, so. Um, if any other questions uh, right now? All right, speaking of that, uh, our next news conference is uh, for SCS-123 is the crew. Uh, we'll talk to them tomorrow, Thursday, at 1.30 p.m. Eastern Time, uh, here before they head back to NASA's uh, Johnson Space Center in Houston. If you have any time for information about the SCS-123 mission and its crew, you can go online at www.nasa.gov shuttle, and uh, thank you for joining us.